Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kicking? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. Yay! Hey Queen, come on and spill the tea. Hey Queen, it's just a good old fashioned kiki. Hey Queen, we're cutting up with Johnny. Hey, hey. Super the faggoty ass episode of Hey Queen with me, your host Johnny McGovern. Oh, we got a real sexy and special show for you today. Oh, a show full of music and muscles. The one and only Mr. Steve Grand is here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, he's like a cool glass of lemonade on a hot summer day. If the lemonade had a sexy six pack and a delicious singing voice. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to bring him out, but before we do that, there's a very special someone I have to introduce. She puts the cunty in country music. She's where Dolly Parton got her titty inspiration from, and she gives all new meaning to going down on the farm. It's Miss Lady Rekador. Yay! <laughs> hey, Quang. Hey, Quang. Oh, what? Are you giving me a... Banji girl effect today? Well, you know, if you catch me in public, <laughs> this is what I give, baby. <laughs> You're yes. giving me Banji. Oh, Banji. My mother would love this look. Why would your mother love this look? Well, she likes when I'm a little like, come tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like in Paris is Burning where they're like, Banji, she's dropping her little brother off at school. <laughs> Banji, yeah. she don't want to mess with your man. Yeah. Banji, <laughs> she's on the corner. <laughs> Banji, <laughs> Banji, <laughs> and we are wearing our matching T-shirts available at the T-shirt store at gayestofalltime.com. Yeah, Team Butch, Team Fam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And as you can see, they come in large sizes. <laughs> <laughs> they no, come right? in large sizes. They both got big asses. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I like you like this. Oh, like this? I just like you with this my country. Tennis shoes oh, shit. yeah. Let's make sure we get a shot yeah. of your shoes. You already know I'm a tennis shoeista. This is like she's riding the bus. <laughs> <laughs> she's wearing her jeans. Okay, right. This is a band. It's a band Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, I, audience, I want you to know that those purple tennis shoes huh? were about a six-month investigation process yes, they were. for me and Lady Red. Yes, they were. Because we are often, as you know, will pick up things to wear <laughs> for the show yes. at Ross Cross Dress for Less. Yes. And I went there to one time, and of course, I was looking <laughs> the size 13 shoes. <laughs> and But right by the size 13 shoes are the size... 18. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gag on that. Gag on that. Yes. And I yes. was sitting there looking, looking, and I said, oh, look at these shoes. Oh, my God. Look at these big-ass shoes. Oh, my God. These are what size? 18. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Now, yes. of course, originally they were $65. Of and course. I said, oh, my God. I can't. I know I'm not going to get those. No. But Lady Red said, baby, we don't need to get them now. <laughs> Ain't nobody else have size 18 feet that are going to be trying to buy these purple sneakers. What I tell you, believe, honey. Believe. Believe. I said, leave them there. And then, um, like, they kept adding tennis shoes, remember? Right. They, nobody would buy them because yeah. nobody else could fit 18, yes. honey. So then when we came back, what happened, John? Well, we came back one time, they were $30. Right. We came back again, they were 20 Right. We're so cheap, we were like, mm, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Because they had stayed there, yes, they stayed there, stayed right. there, stayed there. Right. <laughs> and finally, we got there one day, and of course, we always go, and we like, look for the shoes, uh, check the shoes, right. let's look for them shoes. Right. And I think the salespeople even know, your shoes are right over there, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we got them for $7.99, that's $7.99. Yes, hunty. Yes. And it was a beautiful, 
purple dream. Oh my God, I'm so happy to own purple tennis shoes. And they're name brand, bitch. Like Those that's... are some fancy ass shoes. Hell yeah! And they're size 18, they, they're more material than regular size shoes. <laughs> well, I love when the boys see them, because they be like, you got Nikes? I be like, yeah, I got Nikes, what's up? Bro? I got Nikes, son. What's up, cool? I got, I got Nikes, cool. I got well, Nikes, like cool. You well, like them, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, it's a music show today, Lady Red. Oh Rash. my God, I'm so Steve excited. Steve Grant is so sexy, mm -hmm. and he show sure can't sing. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what? I like someone who's sexy who also takes his shirt off a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. No. When sexy people are like, I don't do that. I can't. You know what? You can always count on Steve Grant for some sexy Ooh, shirtless action. Yes. And great music, oh. and a good person for young gays to see out there. Doing his thing. Yeah, I love it. He's wonderful. <laughs> Your purple shoes, oh. beautiful music. Oh. It's going to be an incredible show oh today. My God. Let's get this show started and we'll be back with the gorgeous and talented Steve Grand right after this very gay break. Yeah! yeah. Would you like some tea, dear? Tea. Coming to Hey Queen tea. TV this month, a new bi monthly it's show. Tea. It's Hey Queen Hot, 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 Hot Tea, a celebrity gossip panel where we take all of our favorite favorite celebrity stories and lies from the tabloids and take that little grain of truth and suck all the goodness out of it. The Real Housewives, real plastic surgery. Oh. She had, she went to one of yeah. those, uh, you know, one of, they did an one of our sisters, yeah. like, hey, we've got a nurse coming over yeah. to pump you full, oh. ladies full of silicone. Yeah, oh. they and, split uh, her oh. lip and they stuck the implant in as hard as they could, almost like Ooh. a black man with a white woman. <laughs> Just sticking it in. <laughs> Jay Z and Beyonce try a separation. No, Jay Z and Beyonce. And then they get fucked. Look at that. Lindsay Lohan is off probation. Oh. Uh, what? Oh my God. Wait, hold the graphic. Hold the graphic. Mm -mm. Hold the graphic. She's back on probation. <laughs> <laughs> what Inquirer says, what Life and Style says, what Star Magazine says, what OK Magazine says, with my favorite hilarious people, Julie Goldman. Yay! Yay! Lyme disease from the coke you're doing at the party, my love. <laughs> I know you're doing coke at the party with the DJ, my love. And Lady Red Couture. Yay! How did that monkey wear see-through? <laughs> 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 oh, Brandy Howard! Yay! Those like three that they put on the cover, Kylie, Chloe, and Kim, have not gotten near a white dick since junior high. So <laughs> I don't know. And special guest, Pandora Box! Yay! They've never had homos on that show. They were just doing it for publicity. Oh, oh it's right. the Jizzlerette. That's what they are doing. <laughs> the Jizzlerette. Everybody just comes on her <laughs> and she's like, oh, do you love me? Yeah. Because the tea is. Mm. It's hot! Yes, honey. That's, that's a tea. That's a tea. What? I'm so sorry, honey. Oh, but if you want the tea, honey, the total tea, girl. No O's, the tea. Okay, well, Kanye will come with his boyfriend? Ooh. Oh, God. Oh. I ain't sipping shit. Hey, queen. He is on the cover of Frontiers magazine. I don't know. Huh. And he's going to be appearing all across the country supporting his brand new album, All American Boy. And he show sure looks good. It's Mr. Steve Grant! Yeah. Oh, Steve. Hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. <laughs> yes. I was thinking about practicing saying that before I came on, but I decided it would be better. For us all, if I made an attempt. Just keep me a natch, Steve. You're yeah. just here in the gay dream house, haven't you? You're in your own gay dream house right now. This is a gay dream house like I've never seen. Yes, it <laughs> is. Uh, I'm so happy we were able to get you here. Me what too. a delight. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. And uh, you're in town. Now, this will air after the fact, but let's start off with some exciting, sexy news. Uh -oh. You are about to head to Palm Springs for the white party this weekend. Uh -huh. yes. yes! Oh, the white party wishes this interview came out before because everybody's going to be up there looking for Steve Grand with his shirt off. House music. What a dream. We'll see. I've never been to a circuit party so it'll be good. I, I said I just wanted to be with my friends. I have two friends that I grew up with that I'm bringing along. Um, 
And one of them is crazier than me, which was kind of by intention because I tend to polarize. And uh -huh. So I'll end up being daddy uh -huh. for the weekend. <laughs> so that'll be good. You know, that way you don't go too crazy. Exactly. You're exactly. like, I gotta take care of old JoJo because yep. JoJo's yep. losing his shit. Yeah. <laughs> that is gonna be fun to your first white party. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready for all. Now, you're, are you appearing or you're just going? Um, I'm just going, but I think I'm going to do the white carpet. I think I'm supposed to do oh, that. Oh, well, yes, you will do that. But then later on, it's all going to come off. Steve is going to be like one of your sexy we'll underwear I, I guess we know now, uh, you know, as this is... Yes, as we as people in the future, I know so I don't you saw say. Steve with his shirt off, dancing and shaking into that house music. Ooh, that's gonna be fun, Steve. Yeah, get really ready for a lot of that. male yeah. attention, more than you normally get, which is already a lot. <laughs> I mean, the, you know, the, the internet makes it easy for people to have access to anyone they want. So, yeah, I mean, I I live a pretty quiet life otherwise, um, but. Yes, I mean, you know, social media it makes, it allows you to connect directly with fans, which is great. It sure is. And now you, I mean, it's been a really exciting, huge couple of years for you. Yeah. Now, when did your first video come out? It was just uh, July 2nd of 2013, which right. is not even two years ago. I know. Um, and ever since then, I've been wanting to make my record. Ever since I was 13, I've been wanting to put out a, my first full-length record. That's been my dream. I was like... I, I used to be a swimmer, actually, before that. Mm, and hold I, on. I, okay. Just imagining you and your swim team. Well, I was in fifth grade, so you don't oh, want to. Oh, wait a second, Steve. <laughs> Steve! I'm imagining your high school swim team. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, my high school didn't have a pool, and by then, I, <laughs> by then I had stopped growing, so I wasn't a head taller than everyone anymore. <laughs> I, I went through puberty very quickly and, and before my peers, so I was, like, really good at all those, you know, kind of athletic things. And I was very strong and I was very fast. And so I thought I was like gonna be an Olympic swimmer actually. Uh -huh. And then I stopped growing and then I realized I had to find something else to do. To and take why over not the world be a with. delightful country star? Well, it's not just country Johnny. <laughs> it said it right here. No motherfucking call it country. Didn't you read my cover story for I know years? <laughs> <laughs> I know you've gotten the run down, yeah. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of country influence in my music, and like I, you know, wear boots and like jeans and stuff. I guess that's country to a lot of people. Well, look, my, Taylor Swift was country, and now she's everything. So you're everything right. you want to be too. I'm. Always, I feel like I'm kind of like 20 years behind in trends sometimes. So <laughs> I think what used to be considered rock is now considered country. So I consider my sound to be more of like a singer-songwriter, pop rock dipped in a little bit of country kind With of With a little, just a dust, a, a beautiful yeah. fairy dust of country <laughs> on it. A fairy Literally. dust of country. Fairy <laughs> dust of country. Street I don't think that dust. phrase has ever been said before. That's your new album, to gag the country community. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Steve Grant, and my new album's called Fairy Dust of Country, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go back to right before you made the first video. So now you'd raised money for that video? No. That was just, that was, that was what you raised money for the album. Well, I raised money by playing at churches and working at, at Mini Bar, which is a bar in, in Boys Town. <laughs> okay. Oh, so <laughs> you earned your money for your shirtless video by being shirtless at Mini Bar. Well, actually, I, I did, I, I worked there the whole, there's a, lot, there's a lot that happened before that video. I guess leading up to the time I was making most of my money, I was playing uh, at piano bars on the weekend, which is why... I, I stopped working at Minibar at that point, and then I continued to play at churches, which is actually where I made most of my money. Um, <laughs> Thank you, churches. And then I, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, they were they were they were great. Um, and that's I, I saved up about two thousand uh dollars, -huh. and I said, you know, I, I found the friend of a friend who did videos, and I said, I want to make this video for two grand. And he's gonna be like, well, it's kind of hard to do for two grand, but we'll try. $7,000 later. Uh huh, of course. We all know, as a person who makes music videos, we know it's a look good. You can do it for oh, cheap, yeah, but yeah. not that cheap. Yeah, and I mean, this was really, really pinching. And I think it turned out to be uh, a beautiful piece of work for seven grand. So It sure did. So you got your friends together. You got it all together. You had been already, uh, you know, playing music. You've been, you've been out since you were 13. I knew I was gay when I was 13. Right. So you knew you were gay when you were 13. You went through a whole bunch of drama with your family with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, my, my family is very Catholic and very traditional. So 
I don't think they really knew what to do, so they sent me to a Christian therapist. And right, and your Christian been, therapist wasn't exactly like, hmm, what, you're gay, wonderful. Let's uh, let's yeah. welcome you with open arms and help you be well adjusted. No. They were like, Mr. Grand, <laughs> why do you want to be the gay? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of drama with that for a while. Right, and then, but then you grew out of it. You, right. I mean, and are, how are they right now with you? They're amazing. They've come a long way, and uh, I like to stay focused on the fact that they have come such a long way because That's I think the there's thing. so many families that are like mine yes. all over this country and even all around the world. And so I like to tell that story, not to like bash my parents, but just to say like, look, you, you can come a long way and my family is in such a better place now um, because we've all learned to listen to each other. And it's but gay thing. parents sometimes have to take baby steps. You know, not everybody's like, wonderful, let's do it. Yeah. Everybody has to have their Hopefully own Hopefully one pace. day they will be. But well, I mean, when their their son is an openly gay superstar, it's probably easier and easier. They're <laughs> like, well, he's doing something right. All these people love him. Right, yeah. I mean, is Lady that, Red just had some baby steps of her own. Lady Red's about to legally change her name to Lady Red Couture, and she told her mother the other day that's what she was doing. Congratulations. I'm so excited. She it's was amazing. like, I'm glad you found yourself. I said, yeah, you too. <laughs> oh, Pastor Barnes is also taking st little baby yeah. steps. Baby steps. <laughs> Lady Rand also came from a very religious family, yeah. and not only is she gay, but she's a woman. <laughs> so that's even more. That's even more to accept. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's doing good, Lady Rand. Baby steps is important. Yes, honey, infant steps. <laughs> So you, so your family's become more accepting, but you, so back to the video, you made the video, it has sexy leading man, was this, it was the story from your own life of uh, having a crush on a straight guy, like, yeah, I, not that any of us know what that's like. Of course. Um, yeah, I, I mean, ever since I was 13 and I realized I was gay, I was like, ah, boys, and I, <laughs> yes, exactly. Actually, I think I yes, realized. the applause for that. Just think about Steve Grant having dirty thoughts. Thank you, gay Jesus. I was at Boy Scout summer camp, actually, and mm, I think that was going, my, Steve. I realized <laughs> none of my stories are that good. Well, the ones that I will tell are that I'll good. make them all better in my head, Steve. You go ahead. But I, one of the camp counselors there who was, you know, way older and mature, he was like 15. I was, I was like 13, so it was a big difference. Mm -hmm. And I remember leaving and I was so upset and I felt like this horrible aching in my gut. And the whole ride home, it was a five hour drive from Northern Wisconsin back to the suburbs of Chicago. And I was like, what is this feeling? It feels so horrible and weird. And then I, it made me realize that I had a crush on this guy and that you know, in some 13 year old way, I loved him. And then I was like, shit, I'm gay. Mm -hmm. That was gay love deep inside, yeah. you see. Yeah. That was a gay love was a gay saying, love. hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded just like that. It does. That's what everybody's inside gay boy I'm sounds like. I'm glad you've like. been able to personify it so well. No matter how team butch you are, your inside gay voice sounds like, hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you made the video, and then you released the video, and then uh, shit went bonkers. Yeah, and I didn't, you know, a lot of people think that it was like some plant from like a label or something, and which is so funny to me because no one's ever given me credit for like being clever. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> uh, I was playing at churches, raising the churches, <laughs> raising the money for my gay music video. And I really That's did, it, it really was all me. I did, um, I mean, in, in the sense that I didn't have a manager or label. Certainly I had, you know, very talented people help me make the video part right. of life. But um, everything else, I mean, I was begging my friends to come, uh, you know, from the suburbs of Chicago all the way to northern Wisconsin. It was like a three and a half hour drive on a Tuesday night, so it was a school night. And uh, yeah, it really was very, very organic and I wasn't ready for what obviously came next. The video dropped July 2nd uh, in the evening and I remember I had big high hopes for the video. I told right. everyone it's gonna get two, 10 million views and you're gonna all <laughs> thank me later. <laughs> and uh, I, so I, I did you know, make it thinking that it was gonna to speak to people and it was gonna do something and it was gonna get attention. I didn't think it would like launch my career in the way that it did, yeah. but that's what happened. So it did get a lot of attention very quickly, but even in the first night, I was like, 
I launched it, and like an hour later, I was like, everyone hasn't shared it yet. It doesn't have a million views. I failed. <laughs> I, went to, I went to McDonald's and I ate a fish fillet. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't need this perfect body anymore. <laughs> Man, give me a large fry with that too. <laughs> but then uh, Good Morning America was like, Good morning, Steve. Hi, yeah. good morning. And they sent a, a crew to my house, and I was, this was only days after it came out. Oh I don't my even goodness. think it was the weekend yet. <laughs> I went to, um, I went to the beach in the city with my friends on July 4th for the 4th of July. And it was just, it was crazy. It was one of the best days of my life because just all these calls were coming in and it was just, it was so, like I couldn't even keep track anymore and I just saw the numbers just skyrocket yeah. that day especially because I think that's when, I think the BuzzFeed uh, article came out the day before maybe. Um, and what was but that, 10 reasons why Steve Grant is a sexy motherfucker? It was probably a listicle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think they were actually the first one that said, first openly gay country star. Right, and, I was like, and what? that, you're like, wait a minute, am I? <laughs> yeah. I am. And I, like, I, I literally Googled it, and I was like, well, Shelly Wright and Katie Lang, and there's this guy, Justin Nutley, and there's all these people. I mean, and I don't, and I was like, you know, living in an apartment, like, about as big as this rug. <laughs> And I was like, I don't know that I, you know, I'm a, I'm a star yet. Um, but, you know, thanks to them, it got a lot of other people to watch it. And then Good Morning America was calling. And I just freaked out. And I had, like, a couple shots. And <laughs> <laughs> so I got a little emotional. I can imagine. <laughs> it was overwhelming. And people are like, he fake cried on Good Morning America. I was like, oh, my no. God. <laughs> it was the most overwhelming thing ever. Like, I'm yeah. a label plant. I'm fake crying. <laughs> this is a fake muscle suit I'm wearing. No. <laughs> I mean, so now I feel like that that video must have meant a lot. And you must have got a lot of reaction from a lot of gay youth, young people, especially people who like country music, who yeah. had, there have been other gay country stars, but they didn't start off in their video looking sexy and wanting to kiss a man. And that's a big deal for that audience, especially. Certainly, certainly. And I, I always say, I don't think I was the first to do anything that I did, but I think that in the way that I did it, it resonated with a lot of people for whatever reason. And, um, and I certainly heard from a lot of people, a lot of young people, um, but a lot of people from all ages, it was really emotional, especially for people older. Who, and right. they would write in, they would say, you know, I've, I've waited my whole life. I, I didn't think something, someone like you would ever come along in my lifetime. And so it was very emotional for them. So it hit people in, in all different ways. Of course, a lot of people are just like, look at this hot guy or whatever. But it did, uh, you know, it did give me a, a really good, solid base with people that really connected to what I did and connected to my story. And since then, obviously, I've been able to keep doing this. Obviously, I'm super successful now because I'm here with you. You're here on Hey Queen with your favorite artist and childhood idol, John McGovern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so you, you had the huge success of the first video, and then you decided, this is, I got to really push this forward, make an album. Yeah, that was, and I, I kept saying that. Everyone was like, you made it, you, you know, blah, 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 this is so exciting. And I was like, no, I didn't do anything yet. I, want, I said I wanted to make a record and that's what I have to do. Um, so I used all the attention mostly to try to get in contact with producers and I still wasn't under any, any representation then. Um, and I just started Googling pe my favorite albums to figure out who made them and right. I would just email them. So, uh, you know, a lot of them I didn't hear back from obviously because I was just like, they're used to, you know, they have their little inner circle of, people yes there's levels here. of people yeah. you have to get through like, to I'm those other gonna, people you know, sometimes like, their direct email is like hi i'm steve grand you might know me from being sexy on tv and singing country right well it was a it was a great thing to be able to say i was on good morning america and cnn and yeah. obviously those like you know words really stick out to people yeah um so i i used that for that and i got in touch with aaron johnson who produced both of the fray the first two fray records which were my favorite records growing up in high school they did like how to save a life and cable car um, really, really great and sold millions of albums, so obviously very successful. Yeah. And so I, I made my record with him. It took a lot longer than I thought. In the middle of that process, I did a Kickstarter campaign, which ended up at the time being the third most successful Kickstarter campaign for a music project ever. How much did you raise? $326,000. Yes, Steve! Wow. Can I borrow $10? <laughs> no, and now at this point, I owe people money because I, <laughs> I never could, like, you know, 
I don't like care about, obviously, these are actually the boots that I was wearing at All American Boy. Like I don't, and like I wore this shirt to like probably four different interviews. But I don't, so I don't care about like, I really do not care about material things. I really just care about putting out, um, you know, music that resonates with people and videos that resonate with people and connecting with people in that unique way that only singer songwriters really could connect with people. That is really all I care about. That is my agenda. Aww. All right. And now you are, were born uh, outside of Chicago. That's where you lived. Yeah. But then when you were 18, you moved to Nashville, right? Yes. Yeah. And you went to Belmont I went Music to Belmont Academy, University. right? Yeah. Bel well, uh, I just went to Belmont University and I studied songwriting there, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think that's maybe where I picked up a little country. Yes, I would think perhaps in Nashville Real that's Dolphin where you got it. Yeah. That's also where you had your first time at a gay club, Steve. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went out to play Nashville and realized that not only could you sing, but you were incredibly attractive and people <laughs> were going to pay attention to you in a different way. Can you talk to someone about this? Steve, I do my research on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you don't come to Hey Queen and I just read the Frontiers article. <laughs> I know the shit. All right, right? Lady Rat? <laughs> That's right, honey. You better okay. know it. I'm take a drink of water. Yeah, okay. take a drink of water and then tell me about that nana plane, Steve. Ha! Ha! Well, they were, like, advertising, like, oh, it's college night, and, you know, if you... And I, like, saw these guys on stage, and they were, like, doing, like, they were taking off their shirt, you know, and dancing and around, and I was like, <laughs> okay, and then they were like, oh, you could win a hundred bucks, and then oh. obviously people were egging me on, and, and Dan? I, was being served, <laughs> I was being served alcohol, you know, under the, you know, not officially. <laughs> not officially, uh <-huh. laughs> And I was like, all right, I'll do it. And I won that night, and then I went back for like the fin the, the finale? final, the <laughs> final. <laughs> and then I won $500, which was... Yeah! Yeah! That was... All right. uh, that, that was... Can I swear it? Yes, okay. you can do anything you want. It was a show. fuck anything. ton of money for me. Fuck yeah. ton of yeah. money! <laughs> Did you oil up? Did I oil up? <laughs> I, I don't remember. I. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Steve. We'll just imagine our heads what happens. <laughs> Actually, we don't have to imagine in our heads because I'd like to review with you, other than your music, some of your favorite work. Let's just take a look at oh, some of your Christ. favorite work. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Steve! Oh, I didn't even Steve. know those lines existed on my body. I'm pretty sure that's the result of Photoshop. <laughs> mm, I'm pretty sure not, Steve. Oh, Steve. That's just This is just oil. another day at the beach with Steve. Yes. Yeah, that's, mm. how I, that's how I look. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh, Steve, your cum gutters are amazing. <laughs> Let's take a look at another one. Oh, Steve! Yeah, this is actually, this was before that shot. And the, um, the photographer that I worked with after that was like, you need to lose 20 pounds. Whoa, <laughs> what? And I did. I did after the shoot. I, what? Because uh, I, was, I was, you know, I'm, I think I'm a pretty driven guy. And I was like, I wanted to do this. And I was like, okay. So I never had done cardio before. And uh -huh. I would do an hour about every single day. And I cut what I ate down to about 30%. Oh. Wow. Yeah. And I just got like, yeah. And I've never had the desire to do that since. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then let me just look a look at just one of my other favorites. Oh, oh Steve! Oh. Steve, what are you doing in that shot? Oh, Steve. That's I think I favorite. art directed this one. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. I was, yeah, I was, I mean, 19 here, and I was, you know. You're just a guy on the beach with a bathing suit in your mouth. Exactly. I mean, who hasn't, who hasn't been there? Exactly. Come on, Lady Red, weren't you just like that on the beach the other week? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, now, one thing I love is that, uh, obviously, since you're not just country, Johnny, um, <laughs> you loved emo pop when you were, in, like, especially in junior high. You did your research, Johnny. Yes, yeah, so and you, uh, you had your first band was called First Impression, yeah. right? <laughs> wow, you, 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 did, you, did, you asked me this question, yeah. Um, my first band in, I think I was in, started in eighth grade, yeah, and we were, call, we were called First Impression, which I wasn't happy about. I was like, that's so, you know, uninventive and cliche and stupid, and, but my, my band just had, they had no taste. You know? <laughs> You're like, guys, fine, we'll do it, as long as we sound like Fall Out Boy or My Chemical <laughs> exactly. Romance, right? Yeah. Oh, and Did you have an emo haircut at that time, Steve? 
I'm sure there's going to be a picture. No, I don't have a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had hair, actually. I was looking the other day. I didn't realize how long it got, but it really got down to, like, my nipple. It was oh, yeah. thank you for mentioning your nipples. Yeah. <laughs> I posted these on Facebook at some point, but it was crazy. I was, And that's how I was all through high school. And then, like, the last month of my senior year, I cut it all off, and no one recognized me. And everyone was, and then when they finally did, they were like, what the fuck were you doing all that time before? <laughs> Why were you hiding on that damn hair? <laughs> so it's going to be like, a Why cheap- did you want to look like a pedophile? <laughs> like, <what are> you- <laughs> It's going to be a huge summer for you, I'm sure. You have your tour all planned out, gay prides everywhere, supporting the album. Yeah, I'll be out everywhere. I've been wanting to put out this record forever, and I just want to play it for everyone that will listen. Yes, everyone, it's going to be great. Your new, we have your new single that shows that you're down with the swirl, which is the, the what's it called, time? Oh, I was like, what are you? What's the swirl, Johnny? <laughs> uh, Lady Red will explain to you what the swirl is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, know. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. That, what's that? That's the newest video, right? It's yes, called, yeah, is time it time? Is, time is the last video I put out. Uh-huh. And then the provocatively titled Soaking Wet. Oh, mm-hmm. Steve. Yeah. Perfect for gay pride festivities. I mean, it all depends on the way. You read lyrics, I mm-hmm. guess. Though I read them in a John and McGovern type of ways. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think my friends who, uh, you know, who I've I've stayed with that have you know, that have stayed with me like after a night that I've been drinking and blacked out would have a, a different version of of this. <laughs> 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 Steve, you are charming. I love that you're just doing your thing, and I know it's making a difference in a lot of lives of young people who are seeing you be yourself freely and do your thing. So I really think that's amazing, and I can't see, get wait to see what's coming next from you. Thank you so much. It's Thank you so good to journey. have you. In oh, Miami. and I have a present for oh, you. Oh, you have a present for me. I keep forgetting, oh. yeah. Oh, well, Steve. I'm giving you a signed album, and everybody, this is what it looks like. This is what a real album looks like, you guys. It's not just on the computer. And I wrote All on right. it. Oh, yeah. Steve said, hey, Queen, I would <laughs> like you to be my boyfriend. Love, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <clears throat> uh, so thank you for having me on the show, Johnny. Meet me in the bathroom in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can get Steve Grant's album on iTunes. I'm sure if you go to your website, you can get the real physical copy, right? Yes, absolutely. And oh, it's actually in Barnes & Noble right now. Barnes & Noble? Yeah. Barnes Noble? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you're such a sexy delight. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank and you baby, me. you snatched your trophy, honey. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we don't just give trophies out here. You've also won yourself a lap dance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. Steve. Oh, uh-huh. that. This is a preview for a white party, Steve. This is what everyone's going to be doing to you there. They're going to be walking around, and they're going to be humping on you. Hump on you. It's a hands-up lap dance. Let it run while Steve feels uncomfortable. Why don't you take us out with a black lady scream at? Hey, Queen. Dream. <laughs> now, Steve will be playing some songs for me on the after show. It's normally look at her, but this time it's going to be look at him. Thank you, Steve. You're adorable. We all love you, babies, and we'll see you next time. Bye. I think that you should stay with me all summer. Stay with me under the covers. Stay with me. Be my lover